Hey guys, this is Richard Beck with Beck Tools, and in this video, I'm going to be machining some knife steel. This is 8670. Um, it actually machines really well. Um, I've already done a couple, and I just want to give you a full, uncut, raw video of the entire process. So, basically, I have already um, put these holes in, and is what I do. I have this fixture where I cut one and then I flip it and I cut the other. Um, since this is uncut, unedited, feel free to skip around, skip forward. You know, spoiler, you can go all the way to the end. Um, but I'm going to show the full process and you won't miss anything. All right, I'm using a 3 16 end mill from Haas Tooling. I'll show that in the screen here in a little bit once I get this started. Plotting. Going four thousand nine hundred and sixty RPMs, twenty inches a minute, sixty thousand depth of cut. I'm running a Haas tooling end mill, three sixteenths, five flute. Corner radius, part number right there. This thing works really good. Um, so, I do this uh, uh, full width slotting and I leave tabs. The goal is those chunks to not have them come up and uh, break the end mill. So some of the uh, pieces have tabs. It should retain those. Every now and again, one will grab and yank up a little bit, but it's not too bad. Um, and then I break that off. I hit go, it runs the next program, which is a finishing pass, just in case um, one of those pieces pulled up and jams the end mill into the knife. Edge, it's okay, because I'm gonna come back and clean that up on the finishing pass. And then I'm gonna cut the primary bevels. Let me blow a little bit of those chips off so you can see. did want to see if I could put a chamfer all the way around the handle. I don't know if I can do that. Um, I know I can do it on one side, but when I flip it over, if the alignment isn't perfect, it's going to look really bad. So the jury's still out on whether I'm able to do that. 
I will have to grind down those uh, the heads on those bolts if I choose to try. I am going to try on one. the head raise and lower a little bit to create those tabs. See right there it made a tab. There it made another tab. It's almost finished. Hopefully this bottom corner down here stays put. Last time it kind of popped up. And when it pops up it can flex the end mill and make it dig into the part. That's why I do a finishing pass right here. Hey, success so far. Almost done. Yeah, okay. There we go. Okay, I'm getting a burr. That means we are... We are getting some dulling on the end mill. So that's it's not a good sign, but I'm almost finished, so I don't know. I've got lots of these end mills. So this material is definitely taxing. Taxing the end mills. And this is the other blade. After this, I have one more to do. So let's go ahead and run the finishing pass. It's going to clean up all that flashing. And then the bevel is its own program as well. Just because um, if I want to like rerun this and run it lower, I have that ability. turn the RPMs up, but if I'm already seeing some dulling in the end mill, that's pretty alarming, considering I haven't... Now this is 80... 86, 70 material, so maybe it's just a lot harder on end mills than uh, 1095 and that kind of thing. I mean, it cuts well. I was just surprised I got such a burr already. The previous blank did not have a burr like this. thing about the uh, software with the MR1 is you can queue up multiple programs. So I have three programs loaded and then I just click go and it just goes to the next one. I wish this knife did neck down so narrow because that makes it a little not very rigid out there on the tip. Sounds like it's doing a bad job, but if you look at the finished uh, blank, it's actually doing a really good job. Uh... 
but I just blew it off with uh, the blowgun. So it wasn't like a substantial burr, they could just be blown away. Um, let me go ahead and take this off. You guys can see it. Ah, screw that all. in here. So now I'm going to flip it over and it's going to do the bevel here. So you can see it's going to be kind of like a spear point on the end. You get a little bit of steps there, but um, like I said, it's not the finished blade. Um, the material did come in a little heavy. I ordered 3 16 it came in at 225 um, or 222 or something like that. So it's like, technically, I guess this is 3 16 bar stock, but yeah, overall, I think he'll be happy with it. Um, not we can make some tweaks and try again next time anyways guys thanks for watching if you got anything out of this video leave me a thumbs up if you have questions put them in the comments below i love to uh read those and answer those questions thanks again i'll see you next time